Hello everyone, I hope you're well and I hope you've had a great day so far today. Today we're here, although this is a different series than Thoughts for Life or than the motivational videos that I make, urging you and me to continue being kind to ourselves and really allowing ourselves to be the best version of ourselves that we can be. Today, we're here with Timmy's Kitchen. Yeah, new series. So, Siri, goodbye. <laughs> Siri came up. So, where was I? Yeah, t today, mum gave me the beautiful opportunity to make dinner for the family. And so, me this morning, I just concluded a three day water fast. And so, in the morning, I had some pineapple because it's very good for cleansing our second brain as such. Dum dum dum. And then I made some courgettes, some eggplant, and some corn. Yeah, it was super yummy. And so here I am now, and this is what I am making for the family. So we have got some sweet potato, some asparagus, an orange. I'm going to be putting this in later on in the dish for some added sweet taste, some nuts, some peppers, bean salad, chopped tomatoes, some chestnut mushrooms, I love mushrooms myself, some, a courgette or zucchini if there's any American people watching. And then recently me and my family, we are really consciously striving to eat less meat and to avoid eating fish, especially since we have watched the famous documentary Sea Spiracy that I'm sure many of you have heard of in recent times. So today, as a meat substitute, we have got plant-based mint. Amazing. We get our protein in and it's just good. And then alongside that, I'm going to be making some corn. My sister really loves corn. She finds it to be similar texture to chicken and she eats everything with sweet chili at the moment so she loves it so aside from that couscous I like couscous personally I find it to go down well with my stomach it doesn't bloat me up the way pasta does or it doesn't bloat me up the way that um normal potatoes do so even with sweet potato i find sweet potatoes to be a great compound carbohydrate and in terms of the macro nutrients that they possess it's great honestly they are fantastic fantastic and i would say this from a point of now and even before when i was more into um, bodybuilding and all sorts. So yeah, for me, the sweet potatoes are always a go-to. And so, yeah. So the first part of today was making the dinner table. So we made the dinner table. The dinner table has been laid out. We put the oven on because the first thing that is going to go on is the sweet potatoes. They roughly take about 45 minutes to cook. I like to cut them up myself to not be too thick chunks. So they're quite um, narrow. Yeah, so they're quite narrow. I think that they cook better that way. They become more tender. So yeah, part one was setting up the table and blessing the table. So let's bless the table again. I am blessing this table tonight with good vibes. Bad energy, stay far away, please. And I'm asking for good energy to come in as it will. That's it. 
So now we've blessed the table. So I'm going to prep up the other stuff and then I'll be back. Hey, so I'm back. So this is the sweet potatoes. This is about how thick I like to cook mine. And so, yeah, you can see it's quite thin. I do like it thin. So on the packet, they say that you should cook it at 200 degrees. Is it degrees? I think it's degrees. 200 little mark. <laughs> I cook mine on about 180 and then I like to flip it over two times. Before you put it into the oven as well, get a dollop of, of olive oil. Olive oil is really good for you and it helps it to taste nice and it cooks better. See you soon. Okay, now the sweet potatoes have just gone in the oven. They are going to cook for approximately 30 minutes, give or take. So I put a timer on so that I can actually be precise with you guys. So you know specifics. Um, but yeah, in about 15 minutes, I'm going to check them over to make sure that they do not over burn on one side. And then that's it. So now it's time to chop, 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 chop the bell peppers, the chili, the four cloves and the mushrooms to get them ready for when we put them in a wok, which we'll do in about 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes time. I would like to show you a cheat code. So my mum taught me this, watch this. So if you, I don't know if you guys have stress or struggle taking the, the outer laying of the garlic off, although if you do, you need not worry. Opa. Look at that! It's off! It's off! See how quick and easy! Bish bash bosh! That's it, look. That was one that was one little thing. And this is with one hand. There we go. Oh my goodness. Did you guys know that? If you didn't, well now you do. Just give it one wallop, bang. And then no more stress. No more stress. <laughs> Look, no more stress. Amazing. Anyhow, let me get back to it. So we are back. It was exactly 16 minutes and a half. And I think these are now ready to be turned over once. Then I put some olive oil and some coconut oil inside the pan. And so now, I'm going to begin cooking this. It has no instructions on it for how long it's it needs to be cooked. Although I presume it's going to be around 10, 15 minutes on a slow to medium heat. Um, everything here is ready. So now the plan is to flip these over, put this on, and then in about 10, 15 minutes time, begin cooking the vegetables. See you soon. Awesome, so, so far, I have been cooking this plant-based mince for about 10 minutes on an extremely low heat, the minimal heat that I possibly can. Um, and yeah, it's coming along really nicely. I couldn't find salt initially, so I seasoned it up with this. And then some pepper. And yeah, then I found some salt. So I put a bit of salt on it also. And then at the same time, when I put the mince on, I uh, put the couscous on. So yeah, I boiled the kettle, boiled the kettle, put the kettle inside. And um, yeah, it's roughly been simmering now as well on the lowest possible heat. My mum said to roughly do it for about seven, eight, nine, Minutes. She said seven, eight minutes. So yeah, I think about that sort of time. Then I'm going to take it out and drain it. And then around that sort of time, I'm going to next begin um, cooking these. So these boil for about 10 minutes. I, I usually boil the kettle once again, 
put them in a separate hob. I'm going to put them here and then boil these so that then when the vegetables are ready, everything can move in. Right now, the step is going to be to put this inside here because then later on with the vegetables, I'm going to mix everything inside the wok. So yeah, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. I think this will probably go for about 10 more minutes because once this is in, the mint will begin cooking slower. So amazing, that's it. Amazing, so I've just tried the mint. I just put the can on top and it tastes really, really good. So that was cooking for, as I said, about 10 minutes, literally 10 minutes so far. And now, oh, I can't flip the camera. As you can see though, these are slowly getting softer. So I'm gonna flip them around again. The first time I took them out, I put some more olive oil and some more pepper on top and a bit of salt, the remaining part. So I'm going to put a bit more salt on. Couscous is looking... Couscous is slowly getting there. A few more minutes, I think, a few more minutes, and then that should be it. So, yeah, I'm gonna get back to it and I'll keep you posted. But now, I think, yeah, I think it's time to start cooking those vegetables first, and then, I'm gonna put these on soon. Okay, so the vegetables are back. They're on, low heat, cooking. Sweet potatoes, are all good. This, I just tried the mince. Honestly, it's absolutely amazing. And so now, couscous time. Couscous has been definitely on there for 10 minutes. So now, Voila! Boom! Now we let it chill for like 10 minutes, I think. Like, till the end of the meal. Then... Yeah, till the end of the meal. <gasps> okay. This is for the corn. Okay, 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 okay! <laughs> Okay, so we're back. This has been cooking, the corn, nearly five minutes now. Mince is honestly amazing, it's good to go. So soon after the couscous has chilled a bit longer, I'm gonna mix the couscous with the mince. This was seasoned with some pepper, some salt, and some mixed mixed herbs some mixed herbs which are somewhere but yeah mixed herbs and boom so i did not put the garlic in to here yet because we don't want to burn the garlic so the garlic's going to come on or well, garlic chili and uh, the oranges are going to come on at the same time with the beans the nuts and the mushrooms. The mushrooms are going to go in first and then yeah then it should all be cool. So now sweet potatoes have been in for 40 minutes. Whoa whoa whoa! So I'm gonna flip them again. Flip them again. Okay this is the sweet potato now. As you can see I just tried a bit and yeah it's nice. 10 more minutes but as you can see because it started burning, I put this down to 150 ish now, 155. And instead of being at the top, I put it to the bottom. So that's it. Now, vegetables are slowly, slowly getting there. How about this? Mm -hmm. A few more minutes. I'm gonna say corn five more minutes. Cooking slowly, cooking slowly. This is done, so I just literally have this on now. So in a few minutes, I'm gonna put the couscous in. Yeah! Okay, amazing. So we're back. As you can see, vegetables are done. I've seasoned them. They got seasoned with more salt, pepper, and I put some more olive oil in. And so now, 
the couscous is on top this has been done I'm going to stir it up now before I stir it up some soy sauce Some, some soy sauce, some light soy sauce. Oh, bless me. These are done. So these shall now come inside. And soak for a few minutes. Out. And as the mushrooms begin to cook, so five more minutes, let's check our sweet potato. Oh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It's looking good. It's looking very good. So, I'm going to let the mushrooms cook for five minutes. And then last of all, I'm going to then put... Oh, bless me again. I'm going to put the garlic and chilies and the... D -d 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 oranges inside. I'm not cooking this today. Not with this meal. That's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. Ooh. I think it's cooking really well. It's cooking bloody well. Olive oil. Stir, 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 stir. Stir, 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 stir. Oh my god, it's gonna be so good. Oh my god. Yeah, I even think my sister's gonna like it. I even think my little sister, who can at times be very selective with what she eats, will enjoy it. So yeah, I put some more salt in at that same time. And I put that on. There we go, look at that. Let me try that. Mmm, you know what, honestly, I'm not exaggerating, this is actually so good. Yo, this is super yummy. Super yummy, super healthy. And, yeah, amazing, 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 amazing. That's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it, that's it. This is starting to look... Mm, slowly done. I'd say the vegetables 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes. This will be done now, I believe. I even turned it down. So I'm going to turn it down to about. I'm actually going to turn it down to 100. To 100. And I'll show you how they look. Let me show you. 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 So I believe they've been cooking now, but I haven't checked the timer since I've started recording. But approximately 50 minutes. 15 minutes so like the standard packaging says for like 25 to 35 i like to cook them a lot slower so they turn out as they have amazing yeah that's done so i'm going to put the sweet potato in here as with this so now we have the soy the soy oh my god I'm gonna take some soy out from my little sister and put it aside with that. Um, although, yeah, the rest of us like all the vegetables, so amazing. I'm gonna stir it up and be back soon. Amazing, so, as you can see, this is nearly done, oh! This is good, so, let me just scrape that aside. my phone, and then the oranges. Amazing, 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 amazing. Oh my god. Okay, I'm very excited now. And so before my mum comes, I need to tidy up this one because otherwise she'll take off my head. She likes to have a clean kitchen. So that's it. Then I'm gonna put this in soon after this cooks for a bit. And that is it. Sweet potato in, mixed well with everything. So we have plants and vegetables on vegetables and vegetables with a few nuts look at that mm. and the couscous is looking absolutely fire 
So, I'm nice and yeah, try it out. This should be a really healthy dinner meal. I didn't put this in. Slide away. Yeah. And say hi to Mochi. Mochi, 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 Mochi. Oh, 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 Mochi, 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 Mochi. You may get some too. I'm sure you will. <laughs>